to have a saddle that sits on the back because what you're trying to create is get as much surface area of the saddle to match the the surface area of the horse where you actually want the saddle to sit like you don't want it to you want a really good clearance through the spine both sides of the spine and like when you lean out the saddle doesn't hit the spine when you lean forward doesn't back the same doesn't touch it but th- so you get so it's a matter of matching up the surface area of the saddle to the surface area of the back to disperse pressure it's a, again like m- more pre- the, the bigger the surface area you can get on the areas we want it to sit the less pressure there is and 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 incidentally like it's well the same goes for if you can get that sitting perfectly you just don't have to do the girth up like you don't have to cut them in half with the girth to keep the saddle still <laughs> that was going to be my next question that yeah. uh, everybody cranks these saddles up so tight with the girth and uh, i encourage all of you guys out there um just to put a belt around under your arm um, under your <laughs> armpit yeah uh, and crank it up tight and then go for a jog and just see what it does to you you know so, so true. It, 